Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to the channel. This video is all about the Boss Loop Station RC500 unboxing and first impressions. Um, I bought this uh, thanks to all of my Twitch donations, so thank you if you donated and allowed me to uh, get this looper upgrade. Uh, in the box you get the looper, of course, a manual, something to register it with, and four batteries. No power supply. I was a little bit disappointed, but no bother. It will be plugging into my power bank anyway. I won't take this one busking. I'll use my old looper for that, so I will never be using batteries anyway, but nice that they included some batteries in there for us. So here it is. It's a beautiful red, quite attractive, I quite like it, almost as pretty as the box. Um, it's made by Boss, so as you can imagine, it is like a tank. Uh, everything feels really solid and good quality. Uh, there is the back there, so there's all the inputs. We'll go into that in a moment and compare it with the RC30. I've been using the RC30 now for about seven years, um, so this is the direct upgrade uh, to that looper. I like the fact that there's still manual faders to use, on there and uh, manual buttons to use, knobs and things. Uh, I think that's a nice touch. Uh, so I went ahead and put the rubber feet on. Awesome, there they are. Uh, it takes four AA batteries uh, as opposed to six on the RC30. I believe the battery life on this is, is shorter than the RC30, um, probably because of that. Uh, here they are side by side. Uh, there's my old RC30 beat up. And here's the new one. It is slightly smaller than the RC30, and uh, I thought it would be bigger, to be honest. But um, that's good because I don't di didn't really want anything bigger than the RC30. I like to keep everything compact and transportable. So moving left to right, we have a microphone input with phantom power. We have two inputs, two outputs. We have MIDI in and out and a uh, socket for expression pedal and USB and obviously the DC power in. On the Boss RC30 we have mic again with phantom power with a manual switch. Uh, we have auxiliary in, which we don't have on the other one. We have two in, two out, expression pedal and USB and DC power. And this is where it's going to sit, uh, directly replacing the RC30 there. And you can see that it's going to fit there. I don't know why I did this, but there you go. So you can see it's just going to fit right there, um, <laughs> which is exactly what I did. And there it is alongside my uh, Harley Benton GITFX and my Harmony Singer um, looking rather swanky. Okay, first impressions are this box is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen such an a awesome looking box. Anyway, uh, like I said before, I've been using the Boss RC30 for about seven years. And as you can see, this one has been through it, definitely, but it's never let me down. It's been really reliable, <clears throat> which is why I went for a Boss again, because I know the build quality is good and it's going gonna, it's gonna to do the job I want it to do. Um, I never used this as a two-track looper, though. I only ever used it as one track because it was such a pain switching from track to track because you have to hold down a button, you have to wait a few seconds, and it's just, in a live situation, it's just not ideal. Um, but this uh, new looper, the RC500, has a channel select button dedicated just for switching from one track to the other, and that for me is a game changer because now I can use easily use two tracks. Um, I haven't used this pedal much so far. Um, I've done one stream with it, and so I pretty much used it as I did use my RC30 but I did do a couple of songs uh, like you saw at the beginning of this video where I was using two tracks um, which worked really well but I'm still getting used to it. Uh, one other great thing about this is you can assign these pedals to do anything you want. Um, I will go more into that in future videos, this is more of a first impression thing. Um, but one of the things I couldn't figure out really was to how to turn the drum loops on and off. Um, via one of these pedals and still use two tracks. There's, there might be a way of doing it, but it, it got a bit complicated. So what's what's happening is a MIDI pedal is being made for me, and there'll be more on that in future videos. That's going to be really interesting, uh, which means I'll have more foot switches, which means I can assign 
uh, those switches to work functions within the looper, which will give me lots more options. Really excited about that. So on first uh, impressions of using this for the first time, I did a six and a half hour stream with it and used it for about four hours before that just to get used to it. I got got it going really, really quickly. It's really easy to get going with it. Um, not a problem. If, you, if you're used to the RC30, then you can make this work really, really quickly. Like I said, using it as a one-track looper is very, very easy, and the default setup works great. Um, one thing I noticed straight away is the sound quality is really crisp. It's really, compared to the RC30, the RC30 is not bad, but you could really distinguish the different layers, and people uh, were messaging me after my stream saying, wow, that really sounded lovely. So the sound quality is much, much better. The other thing I like as well is these switches are much more responsive than the RC30, um, which have these great big rubber uh, switches like that, which are really stiff and hard to push down. Sometimes I would uh, stamp on that and it wouldn't engage. Um, things like that, so yeah, I had to make sure I really stamped it. These are nice and responsive, um, really, really good. With regards to the inputs and outputs on the back, it's really great. They've included the MIDI. Um, they've took taken away the auxiliary, which is a shame because that was technically a, another input that I could use. Um, it's only got two in and two out, uh, so it limits uh, how many instruments I can put into it unless I use a mixer or something like that. But I'm not over fast. I mean, I run bass guitar into it, and I run acoustic guitar into it, and I run a vocal mic into it, and my electric guitar I just play over the top, so I'm not looping any electric guitar. And with the onboard drums and stuff that's in this, I can get a, a nice big dynamic sound, and with the two tracks, it adds more dimension as well. So I'm not over fussed about that. I may look at a, a way of putting more instruments into it. So that is my unboxing and first impressions of the Boss RC500. And it is very positive. I'm really enjoying this loop station. Of course, there will be lots more content on this. Um, I will go through everything. And as I'm learning how to use it, I will share it with you. And when that MIDI pedal comes, uh, there'll be lots on that as well. Um, I really think I'm going to get a lot out of this. Um, so well done, boss. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Then hit that little belly thing, and then you'll be notified when more videos go on, especially about this. Um, join me over on Twitch as well. Uh, link is pinned in the comments, and it's in the description. Uh, I do lots and lots of live performances on there every other day, usually six hours or more using this and my Harley Benton uh, DNA FX and my Harley Benton Black Plazy as well and other things uh, singing and chatting and it's a lot of fun it's a great community over there and also do come and join the discord as well where there's lots of like-minded people all talking guitar nonsense um, so I don't think there's anything left to say except peace till next time Freddy I know, cue the blibbin' jingle. One, two, three, four. If you like my YouTube show, hit like and comment and get involved. If you dig my vibe, then hit subscribe and never miss an episode of my YouTube show. Till next time.